a big oh, old rider. That's a monster. That, oh my god. Wow, that's a Tiny big one there. Fella. Look at the size oh, of that one, dude. That it's got a barnacle spot, but There's it's huge. That's Look at that beast right there. Crab of the weekend. What's up guys? We are out here. I don't know if he's already done some intro stuff. I think he has because he was here last night. You want to? Yeah? I caught a squid last night, you guys. <laughs> Wild. Um, I may or may not have already showed you the squid. If you already saw some footage, then here is a quick flash shot squid. And if not, that was a longer shot and you got to check out some squid footage right there. Um, Came out last night with my friend Dina Beans. We did some crabbing. Crabbing was off of the chain. Just look at the size of this crab right here. Like that is a beast. So I hollered at everybody. It was like crabbing's off the chain. Hit up Chris. I was like, you guys gotta come out. So he grabbed the whole fam and we're gonna try to stack as many limits as we can tonight. I think that we have um, three adult limits for today at midnight. We can then catch tomorrow's limits and we have Sage's limit. So for tonight, we can go 96. So the goal is 96 crab throughout the evening. <laughs> 96 <tonight>. crab. <laughs> and I think we could do it. I think we can pull it off. I think we can pull it off tonight for sure. So yeah, we're all just getting here. Or at least my family's getting here. Brought the kids, brought the wife along. Um, and we brought a smorgasbord of bait, no doubt. We got shad going on there. Oh, a big old uh, Tupperware squid. We got, what is this? Uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe some trout. We got all kinds of stuff. Looks like there's some sardines in there. We got chicken for the sea lion protection. And then, I think this is my giant striper head. In there so we're gonna we're gonna throw all kinds of bait in tonight we're gonna see what hits the best i think we're about to uh mop up the floor on the crab wax on wax off hi guys so we are gonna go crabbing today so we have the greatest place ever hey look around wow isn't it so awesome all right let's go do some crabbing <laughs> let's say it loud. Let's go check the other traps. I don't want to do it when it's this foggy of a day. <laughs> Is that why? Because it's this foggy of a day. I don't want all this fog behind me. Okay. Can it's somebody hair. cut the fog? His hair's a mess. Can we get Can we get lighting to come in here, bring it up a tone, and can we get ambiance to cut the fog? Where's lighting crew at? Can I get a sunset <laughs> inserted right here? <laughs> Sweet. Pretty perfect. Who's gonna pull this one up, Sage? All right, you gotta pull it up right though, bro, because if you only pull it up part way and then you give up and then all the crabs get away, then we're gonna blame it on you. You're the, it's your trap. You gotta go hard, right? Right when you get to the tension, go. Yep, all your strength, bud. Good job. You can even put it on here and slide it like this. Sometimes that's easier. We could get a couple right now, which would be real nice, but really I think coming back tonight, is when we'll clean up. <laughs> get it. Oh man, you let all my crabs get away, Sage. Yeah. Oh my. Looks like a female party up in here. Yep, those are um, big females. That one might be a male. It might be a female. Um, he looks like he's probably just barely short, but let's gauge him. Oh, this one. Right Bam! Quarter inch over. Here, help me. Come on, come on. Let's go throw this one over here. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's go. We gotta throw them in. You ready? One, two, three. Good job. Hey, take two hands, Sage. And just pin them down like that. Make sure you don't. Yeah, make sure their claws don't get you. But if you pin them down and they can't, and then just throw it into the water real quick, quicker than it could pin you. Pinch you. Just tuck it. Oh, you gotta be faster than that. Like, watch how quick your dad's gonna be right here. What's the tide gonna be at again? Seven foot seven, man. 
We just put a bunch of fresh bait in the crab traps. We're gonna go back to camp, make some food, and hang out by the fire, right? And then we'll come back, check some more traps. We'll get back to you guys. You ready to catch some monster crabs? Yeah, it's gonna be like this big. It's gonna be like that big? That's yeah. pretty big. Think All right guys, I don't know if you guys can see me too well. We got a little bit of lighting going on here. But we're back down here at the crab dock. We're about to go pull the pots we've had soaking for the last, I don't know, maybe two hours while we had dinner. And uh, they're gonna be full of monster keepers. And we're gonna try to film some of it. We gotta set up our lighting because obviously it's gonna be pretty tricky out there. So what are we gonna do, Serge? Let them know. Catch some crabs. Showtime. That is a big, big crab right there. Look at the. That's got to be at least two pounds, maybe three. Yeah, look at the size of that. Unreal. Yep, see, we can't slide it over that little spot there, so this one's a keeper. So it's going into the cart. All right, so this is our little lighting crab cart, and it is about the pimpest thing on the dock right now. I think we're claiming it. Was dragging it. <laughs> And we are heading toward this group of people that are probably wondering what the hell is heading their way. <laughs> We've showed you guys the difference between the male and females a bunch of times. That's another big female. These nice monster crabs are going back into the ocean, that wide. Wider V means female. And you can see a big, big boy like this, right the skinny one right there means male. Can and look at that, look at the legs on that crab. He's missing a claw, but still look at those legs. Those are big. Wild legs, that's a nice monster crab. So we're gonna get all the females in here back in the water. I think the rest of these, this is probably a keeper male too. He's just over the edge, but we'll go ahead and gauge him real quick. Go ahead and pass me that gauge. Sweet, so the way you gauge it is just inside. So this one is going to be um, just short. See that sits right there. And then if you can fit a ODFW game violation ticket in between <laughs> the gauge and the crab, it's too small. If you can't fit a ticket in there, if you can't get a violation ticket inside there, that's a keeper crab. But if you can slide that in there, he will issue you one. So this crab is going back in the ocean. I'm gonna have to give you a ticket on this. But no buts, meow. 
That's the law. Yeah, I like this one because if your palm's flat and you're like that, they can't really ever get to you. So if someone wants you to just hold a crab and not have to worry about me, any of it. And they kind of they kind of sleep on their back sometimes. Too. Yeah, after a little kinda bit, like, they'll start to mellow out. There you go. That's another yeah, way to hold. There you hold go. It. Good job, Sage. Yeah, a couple of ways to hold crabs. So. You can hold them by their back legs if you hold them all the way down like that, but you want to be really gentle with them because you could rip these legs off, right? You can hold them right behind their legs like that inside this little pinch right there. This is a real classic crab hold, but this is a little dangerous because the farther up, like right here, if they want, if she wanted to reach down and grab me, she could. She could just get me like that, right? So I kind of like this, this crab. A lot of people will just hold them like that. Just hold them by their claws, basically. If you're holding her claws, she can't, she's not going to be able to pinch me now, you know what I mean? So we're going to get her back in the water, okay, stop so harassing her, her, and uh, you know, let her get back to eating. Go ahead, yeah, hook her in. And we're going to bait this trap back up because it looks oh, like it has almost up. no yeah. chicken left in it. That's probably also why there wasn't much um, going on in here is this trap was full of chicken and there's like zero chicken in it now. So we're going to get it back full Not of bait, eaten, uh, back into the water, and get back into these crabs. What do you think, ladies? Pretty awesome. <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Oh, oh man. See, see, this is the kind of oh, trap, well, watch Fingers your head, bud, keepers, that's made yeah. for a bit of a longer soak. Yeah. So once they get into this the thing, they're really not getting out of it. Yeah, it's got the nice ramps they, right here. They, they, look, this one's even trapped under the ramp. Like, he thinks he's going to get out, but there's just no way. They did devour all of the bait that was in here, except for this little greenling. I think maybe a seal actually ripped open the top of this trap and stole whatever kind of head or kind of chunk of fish we had in there. Because if you're a rocking fish and you have one of these tiny top open traps yep. the seals will come in and steal them often because it's just like a door right to the bait and they're smarter than you'd think so i see at least one two um three keeper males out of this pot there's another one over there underneath that that gate um that's a female there i think that's a female there probably sage right, little... that one might be but and right over here i think that's a keeper probably unless it's a female that's definitely your face away from yeah, that's definitely female. a female. Let's see what he's doing. I think um, that one's a male. Man. Get rid of these. That's gone. This this little <laughs> this little stud who doesn't want to be in here anymore. Yeah, he's just gonna be short. Okay. This one right here. Sorry. Uh, what do you think? That one's probably just short. You got oh, a yeah, gauge yeah. on you? That's a little small. I think that one's a little small. Ooh. Ooh, see that one is we should, just we should legal. take that. I'd take yep. that. Oh, that's, that's totally legal. Yeah. You couldn't that's fit a, a you couldn't no, put a, a, a citation in between that. That guy right, has a bucket. good claw right here. Bucket. Not a chance. No, that's see, see, this is the right on the edge. And when they're right on the edge, we're so used to catching these yeah, huge crab one. that the ones that are just barely, barely legal, we look at it and we're like, there's no way that's a legal crab. But I bet you this one right here is is um totally Hair. legal. Yep. Yep. And Is it that's a male? Like, so that's another one. So I have so much bait in my freezer. I pretty much brought it all. I didn't know what I had. I got salmon heads, all kinds of different stuff. My wife's super pumped because now the freezer's cleaned out. But oh, baby! You guys remember this fish by chance? <laughs> that was that big old striper. Oh, my look at God. the head on dude, that. Head on that thing. Here's look at that head, dude. Oh, you have one. That's like 30-pound salmon head. I think that we might have underestimated the size of this I fish so a little either. bit. Well, we were calling it a 17, but I've been looking at some of the other um, big fish from the area. I was looking at a photo of a one that a guy weighed at 25. I think it's 25. And I think that this was at least a 20 pound fish. Well, probably. Look at the size of the head on it. That's a big head right there. Look at the size of the eyeballs. So, yeah, look at the size of the eyeballs. <laughs> so, a little bit of chicken for flavor. Yep. Try to block the top so of where the fish are. That's, yeah, that's going to just cause this to go off. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, that was a big oh, old rider. A monster! That, oh my God! Wow, that's a big one there. Off. Look at the size oh, of that one, dude. That it's got a barnacle spot, there's but it's huge. Look at that beast the biggest right there. Crab of the weekend. Look at the size of that. Monster. It's a tank. Holy free holy! That's a that's what you call a hubcap, not a dinner plate. Oh, a hubcap. Look He's at big. the size of that crab right there, you guys. Look, it's got some kind of gnarly wound where something. Something got into it. You could like I could feel that soft right there, which means that that went all the way through. It was a whole crack in his shell. Could have been maybe a crab trap falling on him, or a rock, or him getting beat up in the waves. But either way, that's probably what nine inches. Yeah, that's a big crab, dude. It's <laughs> a beauty. Oh yeah, you know <laughs> <laughs> This is bigger. This is bigger than the one that the state trooper move. told me weighed nine pounds last night. <laughs> I think he was exaggerating, but still. 
That's um, it's a pretty big crab right one? there. Well, we're gonna re bait this thing and get it back in the water. Yeah, we'll rebait this one and get it back in the water. You've seen it, what it looks like for us to throw a trap in the water. How about that giant crab right there? That's pretty cool. Look at that thing. It just makes the other ones look like little sissy babies. Half of him is as big as the other ones. Dude, the leg, look at the legs on that thing. I know, right? Just beasts. That's a good crab right there. No, it's gonna just keep eating up. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna just keep getting better over the next Yes. Keep on pulling, bud. That's a good one. Keep on pulling, bud. Oh my gosh. Wow. There's a couple in there for sure. There's at least one big male. Wow. Yeah, right there. There's a big male. He's all upside down, pointing There's right at two out. males, right? Like oh. There's gotta be some in there. Wow. Yeah, there's, there's one. There's another one, I bet. A bunch of females, though. Tons of females. Do I, do I leave the gauge? That's gonna be legal, right? Yeah. That. Yeah. Right on the mud. Actually, just over. No! Loaded. There's one right there. So you guys, you've seen us crabbing down here during the day and in the evening. And I don't know if you can tell the difference just because, or just from the uh, video footage. But at night, it's just vastly better. During the day down here, there's a lot of crab getting caught and um, they're just all big females or undersized and the nets are often empty. But you get down here in the middle of the night and you start catching these big males like this. Most of these guys right here that are closer to me that are males, I could tell are probably too small, but we'll stick that on it just to get a reference point. See that one's, that one's only about five and a half less or something and we need five and three quarters. So that guy's too small. This one right here is a female. We'll just scoot through these females real quick because we can get them out of there. there he is. Come here, guys. That's, that's, a, that's a male that is going to be a legal crab. Boom. Going into the cart. Number one. This one right here, that's another big female. This one right here, hoo -hoo. let's find oh, out. Nice. Oh, oh, you could you could fit a citation in there. <laughs> so that one's gonna be just short. Back in the drink. So I'm just cutting these up a little bit because when we put whole fish in last night that we didn't cut up, we noticed a significant difference between the ones that were, had been cut up and mashed up a little bit. And I think this is gonna really let that um, trout juice out into the water a bit. So It's all about having a better scent than the next guy. And we have so many different flavors in the water right now. Yep, so if they don't like this, they'll like what's in the next one. All right. Oh yeah, dang, that thing's loaded. There's a big one. Oh, there's a monster. There's a bunch in there. That's a good one. All right, yeah, Chris, will you help her pull it over the edge? Because swinging it out is the hard part. Oh. He's that beast, babe. Beast. Yeah, they look Wow, I never seen a hermit crab before. A little hermit? Yeah. There's a little claw in there. Hold it. Hold it. Have you seen a hermit crab? Uh, we could throw them back in the water. Good night. Good night, Good night bud. Dang. Look at that. One, two, three, four. There's probably at least five. I see in here, at least. I, I see yeah, at least four keepers right there. And we still have that big old striper head in there. Maybe we don't need to, uh, need to this one. drop the salmon head in yet. That's, That's a, a monster, right yeah. Nice. The right behind you. One. Where's that one? Definitely. Right? Yep. Two. That's a female, maybe. Definitely. It's a bright orange male. That one's smaller. gonna be just probably yeah. under. We'll give him a check, but it's almost not worth yeah. doing. Nope, the guy's not, he's, that's the small. I got the, so there's one right there to test it. I want to test it. Not a go, not a go, not a go. Goodbye, Good goodbye, shot. goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Ooh. How are Can't you doing either. tonight? Um, Ooh. Looks like the nice ones. Sorry, Charlie. 
credit card could fit in there. You will catch you on another day. All right, well, we got these traps checked. Um, we're gonna rebait them all, probably hang out just for a little bit and um, kind of mosey yeah. about, maybe give it another hour here so we can get one more pull before we go pass out. And um, then we're gonna go pass out. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the morning unless something real exciting happens tonight. And um, hope you guys are enjoying all of the fun and adventure and Crab on. Crab on. Yeah, we're gonna go get some rest. So, uh, how about cue the music? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Holy shit. That might be the fullest one of the night, as far as numbers. Yeah, right? That's what I was thinking. From pulling all right. last night and tonight. Oh, yeah. That's a fucking full one there, boy. Dude, there's like five keepers in there. Look at that monster right there. Yeah, one, two, three. Dude, there's so many monsters in here. This is ridiculous. This is the cage of the night. This is what it's all about. Coming out here. Like, if you're going to come out and you're going to spend the evening crabbing and put in that extra time. We could have just been hanging out on the dock having a pretty relaxed crabbing experience this afternoon like everybody else did, but uh, It's 2 o'clock in the morning. They didn't really catch crab. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. No one's out here. And the reason you come out here at 2 o'clock in the morning is for big boys get back in there, guys. Uh, like this. Boom. There's going to be like five of these like big 7-inch crabs. crabs. Hub caps in this in this yeah. net alone. Um, you want to grab the gauge? Yeah. Just for the ones there. Dude, there's so many keepers. That's for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get our other bucket actually. Okay, we we'll choose that one for now. And then we'll get the All right, let's count them out here. That, one, that one's that one's us. This particle bad boy right here. There's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven. monster. There's one right there. Yeah. Just short. Oh, that but one. that one's. Mm. That one's touching. That one's an eight. One on, nine, right there. Good morning guys. Welcome back. We didn't get much sleep last night. We were out till 3 a.m. This kid's already eating marshmallows and it's like 9.30. Only during camping is that allowed. But, so today, let me show you what's going on here. This is what we all got yesterday and last night until about 3 a.m. Yeah, I gotta cook all these ones. So we're over here, boiling water. Got a little coffee water going too on this sweet propane fire that you can use when it's high fire danger and uh yeah we're gonna boil some crab up cook them up and booyah breakfast crab i couldn't resist get it, get it, get it. open <laughs> so have you crab much before this trip no this is my first time what do you think about crabbing it was awesome yeah one thing that's been really cool about this channel is meeting other fishermen through it, subscribers and viewers. Yeah, yeah. And um, people who have just watched it and then we see them on the river and they're like, hey, we watch your channel. And there's a couple of guys over the jetty here throwing lures that I met the other day on the river because they watched the channel and they just got good energy. We're probably gonna go fishing together someday, so. Oh, there's some big ones. Watch out, baby. Come back. Oh. There's definitely three, two, maybe three. Sit right here. I'll take the nails. That one's the cool. 
I'll take some ALC paper. That's definitely paper. Yes, dude, but look at that. That's over six third inches. One back there. That one, that one's kind of this one's probably going to be That one back next we'll one. Give a, we'll give them a little testing then, just for the measure. And oh, then two. Oh, look at, look at that. Whoa, whoa, bro. This is going to be legal. Oh, look yeah. That. That's buddy. a legal crab. Scraper. And then two females? Four. Four. Yeah, four keepers. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a big a one. That's a big one. Two big ones. Two big males. Good job, Sage. You like good luck. That's definitely a beast. Yeah, two keepers right there. This one's Those got a males. weird pattern on his back. This one's like the Klingon of the oh, crew. Oh, crazy. I see that. Like, see, this is what the back of a regular crab looks like, and that's what the back You're of a Klingon crab looks like. I am Worf, son of Moog. See, so regular Dungeness crab, Klingon Dungeness crab, both males. Both beauties. Both beauties. Go, go, go. No, no, you gotta keep going, man. You, you gotta, gotta help him. And, uh, this is the last I'm cage. I'm strong enough by myself. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, man, look how big some of those herring are down there. Right. I've seen some bigs, like sardines, too big to be sardines. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there's gonna be at least one crab in here. Oh. And a jellyfish. There's one, it looks like a keeper. Is there a jellyfish in there? No, there's two possible keepers. Oh. What? You said there was a jellyfish. I was joking. Some seaweed. That's, that's what happens when you leave your trap in over the tide females, change. But one is for sure. Yeah, that's definitely a female. And oh, we got a male. We got one keeper. Puts us at 108 plus seven. 15. 115. 115. Crab 115 crab in three days. Bam. Yeah. Just for just for good measure. Just for good measure. The last keeper. Last keeper. Ding ding. Ooh, ding ding. Couldn't fit it in there if I wanted to. That's crab 115. So This right here, you guys, is 101 keeper sized Dungeness crab. A few of them in here are as large as nine inches. A nine inch crab is a ginormous, ginormous crab. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, plus six, a lot of sevens. If you guys wanna know how to really get into some more crab, uh, keep checking out the bite. We caught these 118 crabs in three days with six crab traps, but, um. It's just a couple of tricks. You know, me and Chris have been um, crabbing this area for a long time. A lot of you guys have probably been crabbing for a long time and you've got your different tricks. We're definitely going to turn these into crabby patties, crabby cakes, like crabby crab. pastas, crabby raviolis. Anything you can make with some crab, we'll probably do that over the next little bit with these and you'll see those trickle into the feed over the next little bit. If you guys want to learn how to get into monster crab on a regular basis and fill your traps a little bit quicker, um, especially if it's a real heavy competition area. When we were crabbing last night, there was 30, 40 other traps on the dock. So we really had to make sure that the crabs wanted what we had in ours and weren't gonna just wander around eating from all of the other baits. So it's a real heavy competition crab and um, follow some of the tricks and techniques that we showed you in this video and you'll get into those crabs. Uh, hope you like the video. I think a you know, 100 plus day is worth a like and subscribe for more fun content from us. We're about to hit our thousand subscriber mark coming up here in just a minute. We're gonna do some kind of big giveaway, maybe give away some of this crab. Maybe a some whole locals. cooler crab, yeah, we'll you never you, know. You, know, you, you never know. We're talking about working out some kind of package giveaway thing because we have subscribers from all over the world and we have a lot of local people. So if someone in the area um, um, is one of our uh, big giveaway winners, then we might take them on a fishing trip, give them a bunch of seafood, something that we can do that's a little more face to face. But if you live in like some far corner of Asia, we're not forgetting about you. We'll send you out a gift card. We'll send you some fishing tackle. We'll find a, a fishing guide in your area and um, set you up on a trip out there, something like that. So make sure to hit the like button, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more fun action from the bite.